Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and you're having and you're enjoying your holiday season. I just wanted to pop in. I'm super excited. My favorite time of the year is New Year, I have to admit, because <laughs> it's just like the ultimate beginning, so I'm super excited um, for New Year's Day and just, you know, a fresh start. A lot of things have happened in the last year. Um, it was a little bit difficult to push through. However, it was laced with so much goodness, um, so many things to be thankful for, and I'm really excited about what 2018 is going to bring, um, even the challenges, because the word says that, um, what does the word say? <laughs> what is that scripture? <laughs> the scripture says, that to consider it joy if you encounter trials for it's only for the proving of your faith that you may be fully developed and lacking nothing so for me um, moving on into 2018 may bring more trials and challenges but I am embracing them and considering it joy because it's for the proving of my faith that I may be fully developed and lacking nothing so I'm excited about the new year and today I just wanted to come and just uh, share with you what we got for Christmas, our homeschool Christmas. So what I try to do for um, Christmas time, because we have so many generous grandparents and aunts and uncles and things like that, um, is I kind of split our gifting up into two parts. Um, they just get regular Christmas gifts, things that they have requested or things that we found for them. But then I also have um, I also use a lot of those resources to add to our homeschool collection of resources. So some of the things that I have been eyeing throughout the year that I wanted to invest in for homeschool, um, this is the time that I try and take advantage of all of those extra hands that are trying to give during the holiday season. Um, so I try to make good decisions and pick out things that are going to add to our homeschool for the new year. So I just thought I would sit and share with you what we got. It's not a it's not a whole bunch of things it's just a few major hitters that i think will be a good fit in our homeschool so i thought i would share them with you today i hope i'm in focus i hope i'm in focus <laughs> okay so the first thing that i'll share so the first thing that i'll share i've been eyeing these for a while um are these everything you need to know to ace books um, I posted about these before, but I think they are really cute um, and I wanted to add them to our collection. So this was a perfect time because they were super marked down. Um, I had seen them in our BJ's um, for a decent price, but I passed them by and I'm glad I did because I ended up stocking them on Amazon until they were like five, six dollars a piece and that is when I grabbed them. Um, so I just got each one out of the collection, science, world history, English, language arts, math, and American history. I really like these books. They're geared for middle school studies, How and my kids are much smaller, but for me, they're great stretch material for them. They're full of really nice illustrations, or chock full of information, and what I really like is that they can read them like a book. They were excited to receive them, and I'm excited to add them to the to the mix, guys. They are so cute. I've been wanting to grab these for a while, but it just didn't make sense because my kids were younger. And but when they went to five dollars, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get these. The next thing I have is this marble maze. This comes from the Mindware store, and this was a gift from their aunt and uncle. Um, they got them some Lego sets and some more superhero stuff, which basically happens every single year. Um, but along with their superhero things and their Legos, they always get them an educational gift. They'll have a lot of fun building with this, and maybe we can add some of the other sets to them, so I'm excited for them to break these open. The next two that I got were uh, from grandparents and they each got a coding type of robot. So uh, my younger son got this Jimu robot. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna fit it all in. I just know that it's coding related. So um, I'll go ahead and add this to their coding section that we're gonna be starting soon. 
probably in the next month and they've got all the bits and pieces and information of how to hook it up to their iPad or our phone so they can build the robot and they can move the robot and all of that other stuff so um, I thought it was a lot of fun we're working on a lot more um, basics of coding in that computers and coding book that I've shared um, as a part of our curriculum before. The next thing I got was for my oldest Cameron and we just got the Star Wars Joy by Little Bits. I've been eyeing Little Bits items. I don't know if you can see it. Savannah? <laughs> I can see it. Okay. Um, so I've been eyeing Little Bits for a while now. So they have some sets that I've been wanting to add to their the kids studio space, but I haven't quite built up enough in my funds um, to be able to purchase them just yet. But I did uh, go ahead and get this Joy. I figured it was a nice little start for them, so I'm excited for them to open them up. I think they have even stickers that they can customize them, and I'm sure that um, Cameron will find some creative ways to break them apart and use them for other things. So I'm excited for him to get started in this little arena. So now they both have um, robots to code. So these were two bigger things for them to add to our homeschool time. So that's exciting. The next thing I've got for them um, was the Osmo kits. I know you guys have seen these around and you probably a lot of them already have them but um i try to exercise some patience i spend a lot of time trying to figure out if it's really going to be a nice addition to our homes so i basically got all of the pieces to the kit and just kind of separated them um to go to the child that i thought would fit them the most but it's basically a you know a family gift so um it has the shapes the numbers the words um, the Masterpiece Kit and the Newton. And then we also got the Osmo um, Creative Kit that went along with it. Of course, that's for my older son. Um, again, like I said, they're all going to play with them together. Um, the next one I got is the Pizza Company. My kids love the app that we have on our iPad um, for the pizza shop. And I thought this was super fun and they would really enjoy this. And it would be a little bit more hands on and come out of the screen a little bit and then the next one is the coding obby so that's it'll go along with the other coding items that we have to add to our mix when we get into computers and coding so then the last thing that i got you guys would technically not be considered a homeschool related thing but for us it is because storytelling is a huge part of how we do language arts and I hope to be able to share more of how we're doing it it's just that when you start to do something that's a little bit newer you want to make sure that um, you know that you can communicate it well but it's something that we use in our homeschool that's a really big deal um, for us and hopefully I can share more of it but um, the great thing about storyboarding and storytelling um, for homeschool is that you can use a lot of your play items and um, just kind of maximize that learning experience in play if that makes any sense so the last thing that I got um, that was mostly homeschool related is Savannah's dollhouse I'm super excited. I got it from Target. It was part of the Magnolia collection from um, Chip and Joanna Gaines. I guess it would be from Joanna Gaines because I'm not sure if Chip... Well, no, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It's from Chip and Joanna Gaines. Um, so it's really cute. I love it so much. Each year she gets more of a... It would be considered heirloom just um i think three years ago she got her kitchen and then last year she got a castle and this year she got a dollhouse we got lots of peg dolls so i'm really excited because we are going to be remodeling her dollhouse even though it's perfect the way that it is um for our storytelling purposes and how we're going to get her into storytelling because the way that I did it with the boys was much different because they're boys um, so we did a lot of superhero um, storytelling and that was how we built upon our little storytelling system with the boys but for Savannah ours is more um, dollhouse related so I'm really excited about doing something a little bit different when I introduce her to storyboarding and storytelling um, as a part of our language arts program 
that we just kind of built ourselves. Anyway, so I've got my peg dolls. This is actually my first time using peg dolls. I'm really excited about it. Um, found out about them from Pepper and Pine, and lots of other homeschool mamas are using them in their homeschools. So I'm really excited to add them to our homeschool and just kind of try and put you know my creative spin on it um, and have fun with it with her new dollhouse so we are going to be doing many more videos on how we are remodeling her dollhouse together so I thought that would be a lot of fun to do with her like a mommy daughter thing but still homeschool related so yeah you guys that's it I told you it wasn't that many things they were just kind of bigger ticketed items that I wanted to add to our homeschool and Christmas time was the perfect time so thank you so much to grandparents and aunts and uncles and everybody who contributed to us being able to add a little bit more things to our homeschool you know resources so oh, all right you guys I had to talk really fast to try to get through this video because the kids were trying to I, I, I'm not sure if they're trying to let me be great. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to gather them together so we can go off to the grandparents' house today and enjoy the rest of our holiday. I have lots of fun things planned for this channel, as always, for the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would love to know what kind of homeschool-related things your kiddos got for... Um, for Christmas and the new year um, and I will see you in the next video in 2018 I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching um, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support I am mostly I have gotten through responding to most of my emails and comments and direct messages and things like that I have a few more that I think um, I still have to get back to but you guys have been amazing and I don't mean everybody I mean those you know those people that go the extra mile to reach out to me to encourage me to just chat with me to just say hello I really 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 am enjoying this part of making these videos so um, thank you for that because I really I really do enjoy getting to know you more and just kind of feeling like you're walking through life with someone else um, that may be on a totally opposite side of the planet. So, um, yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your love and support, like I said already. And I'm excited to see what comes of our families and our homeschools in the new year. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye.